The Jews of Masada were deeply religious, having lived during the time of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem and during its destruction. Masada Synagogue has been partially restored, and I found the experience of visiting the special place very moving. We've spoken a lot about Herod, about one man. We came up here to speak about a group of people, a group of men, women, and children, about 900, who came up here 2,000 years ago to take refuge from the Romans who were pursuing them because of their religious beliefs and the way they followed their God. We're now sitting here in the synagogue of those people that took refuge up here. They built, they built this probably out of one of the rooms, storage rooms, the stables of Herod, is their place of worship and prayer. And here you see how far the Jews came to go away from the civilization, to get away, not to bother anybody. And still the Romans had to come to here to try to destroy the last remnant of the Jewish people 2,000 years ago. Archaeologists have uncovered mikvot, Jewish ritual baths on Masada, which were built according to the standards of Jewish law, known as the halacha. Storehouses for food, large enough to hold provisions to last for years, sumptuous palaces, and an intricate system of water collection and storage provided the Jews who fled to Masada with the means to stave off the Roman assault for three years. The siege of Masada was finally won by the Romans after they painstakingly worked in the hot desert building a huge ramp which was literally the size of a mountain next to the mountain of Masada. The ramp reached the defenders' walls and on that fateful night, the fires the Romans set burned the gates to the fortress. Knowing that the Romans would attack in the morning, the Jews on Masada, the last pocket of resistance against pagan decadent Roman rule, decided to die as Jews and not to be taken captive by idol-worshipping Romans and therefore took their own lives. When the Romans entered Masada the next morning, to their shock and to their disappointment, they found the inhabitants dead. The Jews of Masada would not become Roman slaves, forced to abandon their Judaism. They lived as Jews and they died as Jews. <laughs>